Yo folks, what's up? Uh, I guess I started a video about Nix Android and the Nix package manager is quite important and uh, interesting many people talked about it and recommended, recommended trying to use it so in the, in the previous video I uh, finished it by or the last thing I reached was letting the bootstrap install and I tried such thing on a device but it did not work there was something like a bug or something and I switched it to another one and I, and I guess now it works fine so I thought of uh, showing you the results that I get after you let the package mix Android it's, uh, it's very similar to Termix you let it uh, download its own bootstrap stuff it takes some time sometimes it gives you here you can see here and this VNC connection as I said to you many times this is not an emulator it's a VNC connection to my phone and the phone is here you can see that the phone is here it's very similar to what you see on the screen so it gives you a prompt to choose to install flakes or not so I chose yes and then it takes some time to all uh, to install all these things you wait some time for it and then like this it says to you congratulations now you have Nix installed with some default packages like bash interactive and so on I try to run some packages, install them, it did not install because probably I have to install other stuff first. I try to check the manual page of Nix and it doesn't contain a lot so let's clear or let's clean the screen. I guess there is no such command. So we will run these commands. I guess they will help us have full how uh, the installation working or uh, I will I will have to type them so nix just like uh, the installation of nix package manager on almost any distro aside from nix itself it's supposed to be some somehow similar to this so it's about uh, adding these repositories to our Nixon Droid. It may work and it may not work because it's still something like experimental. It's not experimental exact exactly, but it's alpha, which is very similar to experimental this is the first command and then we have the option to add the other two ones so let's try to copy them if it's possible otherwise we will have to enter them manually which will take some time no nope. Probably we will have to input them directly by, by like manually, okay? So we need to reduce the time by changing this command. Alright. Last one, use the same command. 
but we still have to change a lot in it stand by I'm using the phone because I don't want to keep clicking using the mouse on the screen my computer I wish all the commands were entered correctly then we use x channel then update if there is any error about the previous commands it will appear now Remember to prepare some space on your phone so you can use Nix Android conveniently because it requires some space at least maybe one gigabyte or something and of course if you want to install extra packages you will have uh, to prepare spare space for them depending on the size of your package itself some time for those who face the error when using the VNC connection to their phones the error rec to big you need to change your VNC viewer especially this error happens mostly with uh, Tiger VNC for me it happened for me using it so now I'm, I'm, I'm moving to I'm using now Remina it's not bad, it's good. I read an article about it or a question in a forum about the error like too big and it happens probably only with the Tiger VNC. Sometime. I guess I'll pause the video once it's done I will tell you stand by alright guys we after we waited some time our installation is almost uh, done it stays some time unpacking channels as it says here so probably we can try to install a package by running the Usual command, I'll simply use the form if I'm not mistaken. Yep, it's working. So, uh, and the, I use it another device, I reach it the first. Uh, screen I showed you in this video but now when I'm using this device it's probably working and it's similar to the uh, to the next package manager on any Linux distribution as you can see it's working and that's quite good you will have extra packages uh, on your Android if we try to on your Android from your from Nix package manager this is LF the package that we recently or we just installed right now let's try to run it it's working as you can see and that's quite cool uh, 
let's try to install let's stop Totally works so far yeah it's working the installation is working and the package is supposed to work just like for LF LF you can search about it it's the go version of ranger uh, exp explorer file explorer it's faster because ranger uses python but this uh, but LF uses go go is used in many uh, applications like uh, docker Kubernetes as I guess so this now we are installing edge top and really it's something cool you should try it yourself you're gonna enjoy it the commands that I use to install packages those are the ones that I know if there are others please tell me because I'm not familiar with using XOS I use other distributions and I may use it one day if you desire I will make the tutorial on installing it it has a new GUI installer and that's good to make things easier and it's not very common like or it's not known as uh, other famous distributions so the installation is done we can try to run edge top it's supposed to run yep it's working here We can try to install NeoFetch for NeoFetch uh, fans. I don't hate NeoFetch, it's good for me. I like it. But I'm not that fan myself. If you care about my opinion, it's not worth it. It's not a big deal. You may need to make sure that your device can run Linux on Android, and that, and you cannot uh, make sure it runs or not, except if you try to run Linux on Android yourself. It may not work. Probably the device is not uh, compatible 100%, or there is a problem with it. So if it does not work, you need, you may need to change your device. Okay, just like I did. So I guess it's almost done. No, it's not. Now we can run your fetch. Well, it's supposed to work, of course. Alright, it's working. Yep. I guess that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.